Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Martin, and I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Greg Stone, who many of you know. Greg is at Columbia University in New York, and Greg, thanks for joining us. You're going to thanks, tell me a little bit about the platinum trial. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, sure. Well, Randy, as you know, we've made tremendous advances in patients with coronary artery disease that need to undergo angioplasty, from the balloon angioplasty era to bare metal stents to first-generation drug-eluting stents, and now even more advanced, right. better-performing stents. And, and specifically, there's one stent which has kind of become the most widely used in the world because of its optimal safety and efficacy profile. And it's a stent that elutes the antiproliferative drug Everolimus right. from a fluorinated polymer and both the polymer and the drug are on top of a cobalt chromium metal alloy stent. Okay. So this is either called the Zions V or the Promis stent, that's its trade name, but basically it's an Everolimus eluting stent, and it's used in about 65% of worldwide procedures okay. because of very low restenosis and low stent thrombosis. But the companies are always trying to make the stents better, right. and it's going to be hard to improve the clinical outcomes of the stent, but ease of use characteristics may be able to be improved. Okay. And so a new metal alloy has been developed called platinum chromium as opposed to cobalt chromium. Okay. And so it has no cobalt in it, but it's got platinum and a little bit more iron in it. And platinum in particular is a little more radio dense, so you can see the stent better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's also a little more resistant to recoil. Mm -hmm. And the stent has been somewhat uh, reconfigured, so it should be more flexible, more deliverable, better side branch access, all the things that interventional cardiologists right. love. So the FDA, of course, before a new stent can be um, approved in the United States, requires a large randomized trial. And we did the platinum trial, which was 1,530 patients undergoing coronary stent right. implantation, randomized one-to-one -to, -one to either the predicate cobalt chromium everolimus eluting stent right. or this new platinum chromium everolimus eluting stent. Same polymer, same drug, just the just underlying stent. And this was powered for non-inferiority. We wanted to show, we didn't think it would be better, but we wanted to show that it was at least as good. Right. Uh, and we were able to show that. So that's, I was gonna ask you, what are the outcomes? Yes. So we followed the patients for one year, uh, 1,530 of them, randomized around the world, by the way, more than half in the United States. Sure. And the primary endpoint was target lesion failure, which is a composite safety and efficacy mm -hmm. endpoint of either cardiac death or myocardial infarction related to the target vessel or recurrent ischemia necessitating a repeat, either PCI or in, um, surgery, right. that's called target lesion or vascularization. Okay. And at the end of the day, at the end of the one year period, uh, both stents had approximately a 3% target lesion failure rate. And there was clearly non-inferiority right. was met, but that's a remarkably low number to put that that's in perspective. That's very small. 97% of patients had no adverse event whatsoever within the year. That's when we broke it down to the components, death was very low, myocardial infarction was very infrequent, and ischemia-driven target lesion or vascularization or restenosis right, right. was 1.9%. So only one out of 50 patients with either stent, 1.9% right. with either stent, one out of 50 patients came back. And finally, there's stent thrombosis, the most feared complication of stents, and that's always been very, very low with this fluorinated polymer right. uh, configuration and that occurred in 0.4% of patients with both stents. So one out of 250 patients. So overall, we were able to demonstrate that this new stent configuration has similar safety and efficacy compared to the predicate stent. This trial wasn't designed to actually test those ease of use characteristics. Right, that That'll say. come out in use in thousands of patients. But we are very pleased to see that it looks like this will be the third metal that we believe FDA will approve for use in stents from stainless steel to cobalt chromium and now platinum chromium. Fabulous. You did a great job of explaining it. And thank you thank very you. much for joining us. And thank you for joining us for Cardio Videos. For Cardio Source, I'm Dr. Randy Martin.